what's up guys? You know, it may look like I'm standing in a small closet, but I'm actually standing in the wheel well area of the Super Guppy. And today's a great day because any day flying beats a day sitting behind the computer. So, let's take a quick look around the, uh, on the wheel well of the Super Guppy landing gear. Next to me over here is the landing gear drag links. We've got the upper drag link and the lower drag link. And we've got the actuating cylinder here. Now the big difference with the Super Guppy than basically every other aircraft on the planet is you'll notice the huge electric motor behind me up here because our landing gear is actually electric. It's amazing. Every other aircraft in the world has hydraulic landing gear. Ours is electric. And these motors pull 300 amps of current between the three of them. Look at the size of the wiring that goes into these motors. Motors turn a gearbox and the actuator extends. The upper and lower drag link bends this way and the gear pivots here and there and the gear swings up. We've got all this space for the tires. We have the landing gear strut. If you don't know aviation terms, this is called an oleo strut and that means that it is an air oil strut. So there is hydraulic oil inside of it but there's also a nitrogen diaphragm, and the two work together to act as the big shock absorber. We have brake lines, we have an anti-skid system that works on these wheels. It's a pretty awesome system considering how old it is. You can see our up lock there when the gear comes up. And this guy engages the lock up here, and that is a mechanical lock that holds the gear up in addition to the two mechanical locks that are inside this actuating cylinder. There's one inside the, the cylinder itself, and then we have another physical barrier, a gear pin, that we install in there. As I mentioned, it's a great day because we get to go flying. We're just going to do some local bounce pattern work. Uh, a couple of us are not current in the airplane. It's been greater than 60 days since we've flown, so we just have to get in the airplane and go fly around a little bit. Not the worst day a guy could have at work, right? So. Come on, I got camera set up. Let's go for a ride. Number 426, clear for takeoff runway 11. gives us DC power when we're on the deck. This aircraft mostly runs off of DC power. So for ground power, free flight, and engine starts, we use a DC external power cart. And jet engines start by an air starter, not an electric starter, like most cars or motorcycles or anything else. Most aircraft also have an APU, which is an auxiliary power unit. The point of an auxiliary power unit is it provides electrical power from a generator, but it also 
provides the air needed to drive the air starters on the engines. Well, this aircraft does not have an APU, so we use we use an external, what we call a huffer, or an external jet engine, to provide bleed air from it to the engines for start. We will connect that hose to that manifold, and that carries the bleed air out to each of the four engines for engine starts. Pretty cool how that works, right? So down here, we've got the lower unpressurized area of the guppy. We are up forward. There's our main entrance door. We have our hydraulic panel that we use for all the hydraulic locks on the nose. We have our two stabilizing struts that came out of a dump truck, by the way. And we have all our flight control cables here. And we physically unsnap all of these flight control cables when we open the nose. It's a little unsettling at first, but you get used to it. And we have many sets of eyes that check it after they get reconnected before we go flying again. So if you're concerned for our safety, there's always a risk in aviation, but we do the best we can to mitigate it. Select four, start four. Four selected, air's up at 80. Starting four. Moving on rotation. Indicated. There's steady fuel flow. Light up. Oil's on the right of both sections and I'm paralleling line. Passing 50% now. There's a button. 74. Come on. Here's up. Low RPM. Copy, clear for takeoff, 17 right, 090 up to 2K and uh, base is at 7. Okay, 090 heading to set, make sure yours is set. Yeah, I'm going to do my heading here. Do, 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 do. And then we can hit the lights. All right, landing lights are on, bleed air, shut valves closed, yep. pedo heat's on, and I skid. It's on, lights out. All right, configuration warning lights. I think we're good. Yep. Good. All right. Check it's complete. So you got the yoke and the got rudders. Got the yoke and the rudders. And the brakes and the brakes. Want. Okay, you got okay, the brakes. I got the brakes. All right, whenever you're ready. Ready. All right. 1049. And go ahead and you can throw your hand yeah. up there. Okay, once we get 15, we'll release. There's 15. Here we go. Let's do it. Oh, yeah. Feel that acceleration. Feel the baby. Okay, there's 40 knots, you should have good rudder. All right. There's 80 knots. Yoke. Okay. There's V1 and rotate. Okay. Pause the brake. Okay, you got gear. Gear's coming. That sounds a lot better. There's four, you get flaps for me, please. Flaps are coming. Oh, we can get climb power in here, too. Once we can, there you go. Yeah, 700 feet is about right. And I got the radios, by the way. Flaps okay. are up. Flaps are up. Okay. Pass the 941, contact you from the departure. Good day. Hey, good day. NASA 941, it was about 700 feet for us, also. Thank you. Come to left. You got me climb power, right? Set it. One for two. Parking has an I-4-1 check in the other one.
300 feet. Two hundred feet. Okay. Five across. One hundred feet. All right. Start walking her back. Walking them. Fifty feet. Twenty-five feet. Twenty feet. That's flat idle. There you go. And stand them up. Stand them up. Push them up. Nice. Push them up. Take off power. Flaps are set. And we're <coughs> uh, Step right. Gear. So hey guys, it's tomorrow. As I typically do, I got wrapped up in post-flight duties yesterday after our currency flight. I totally forgot to video the wrap up. So I hope you enjoyed catching a quick glimpse of, uh, of us just going flying and doing some currency, getting myself and Mike Robinson, the other flight engineer current, as well as Pugs, uh, the other pilot in the right seat. Today's a huge day here at NASA. Uh, SpaceX Dragon uh, Demo 1 flight uh, just splashed down in the Atlantic uh, about 45 minutes ago. So it's a big day for our space program and the commercial crew program. And next week is even bigger for us since uh, we're heading out to Kennedy Space Center and we're gonna fit check the shipping container for the Orion crew module. So a sincere thanks for watching. Really appreciate every view, every thumbs up, every like, every subscription. Really makes a huge difference. Uh, if you like seeing these videos and you wanna see more of them, please subscribe. Play Ding Dong Ditch with the bell next to it so you get a notification every time I post a new video. And man, next week is gonna be huge. We'll see you then. Have a great weekend.